welcome back to the ethereal place where this shit happens oh where we last left off i i honestly forget my my memory is awful our boy has him became a super god right oh yeah he decided he gained we decided he sort of. <laughs> uh, and, and two oh, dragons yes. did a big fight yeah uh, uh yes and they, they then we agreed it. that we are going on a uh, Frederick's quest. Oh yeah, and and they got fucked up, right? Valentia got a little fucked up. Yeah. And a certain Thank you. I can trust on you guys for r- r- really vague uh, recaps. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And so now we're going to go do this job involving uh, Frederick. We seen the Druid Court in the Duma Woods. What were you saying about Rabbit Cat? Oh, the uh, no, Kaiko decided to stick his matchmaking snoot where it did not belong. <laughs> and By the also way, that reminds some uh, kidnapping plots. Oh, that's right. By the way, oh. yeah, there was that. I think <laughs> does that make right Rabbit the part the party? Uh, does that make? Ravik the party Yenta. Wait, where the fuck is Ravik? There we go. Yeah, over there. there. The world may never know. Oh, he's down. Is he down? No, wait. Huh. He's, he's on the right side of the map. Here, there he is. Actually, here. He's off by himself, like check, he usually Ravik. is. Good stealth check, Ravik. Has anyone oh, seen Ravik? My my. <laughs> Yes, there he is, misting lazily to the right. <laughs> yeah, rabbit. Got rabbit left. Well, that's for Keiko anyway. But um, Keiko will put out, pull out his black book and say, "Oh my goodness, I better get going." Wait, uh, weren't you coming with us? Well, I'm super busy. He's got a lot of job to do. He like gets what paid to do matchmaking and stuff, right? Oh, yes. That's really weird. It's a really <laughs> weird profession. I hope you're very good at it. No. There is such a thing as a yenta. It's like the opposite of assassin. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like the exact inverse. <laughs> yes, um... So I had a character. I'm taking Kaiko up because I didn't finish his spells, pretty much. Oh, that's fine. Rip. That's fine. Uh, oh, okay. Are you around? Uh, how do I get rid of someone on the map? Just just delete it for you. Delete yeah, you just oh, left click and you're press to, to delete You're me. welcome to come back to the... Oh, he blinked or out. Just click the image and... Oh, no. You must have a teleporting oh. spell. Make sure he's not hiding in the air ducts anywhere. <laughs> oh, all right. Never know. Did you get on that? I mean, if he is, he's allowed to come along. He doesn't. I go. If you're in the air ducts, you can come out. So, are we taking the ship to this secondary location? Of what? course. We take the ship everywhere. Get Except out, for places where the ship cannot. Two. I'll draw. Uh, is this that a character question? Would rather have seen the action from where he was teleported to? I'm assuming yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. What, when for miles saw that shit. <laughs> Rabbit yeah. got back. I'm it's trying to hard to notice two events. titans to get out. I'm, I'm trying to remember the exact order of events two weeks ago. When did Rabbit get back? I think it was uh, after the kaiju battle. Back. No, mm. no, it was just before that happened in the last camp, last session of this campaign. He did all of Ravik's stuff first, and he teleported back, and then, uh, but he wasn't near enough, so he like started hoofing it while we was, did everything else. Did he so see? He was, did he see? I was checking. Did he see the um, the christening of Azamar? No. no, he's not, not technically likely. back yet. Okay, and then, and then that means he also doesn't even know that Kiko was here. Maybe they should run by each other. Well, I guess <laughs> Tom's decision. Uh, 
He's controlling both just, characters, so. Just run past each other, slap each other. Yeah, you like can do a comedy of errors. <laughs> oh, like high five. Fuck my high five. Uh, yeah. It's playing poker with Minerva and Weiss. <laughs> Speaking of giant monster movies, I just found out recently that one of the Baldwin brothers was in a late 90s Godzilla ripoff. Godzilla ripoff? <laughs> yeah. No, oh, no, not a Japanese Godzilla, Godzilla, the TriStar Godzilla ripoff. Oh, you're talking about Zilla, yes. Yeah. It was a ripoff yeah, sorry, of the movie. Zilla movie. What? Who would? Who would? <laughs> Who oh, would? Uh, uh, I think America. we should continue now before we get off on a tangent. Sorry, that, that was just a fact that I learned recently and wanted to share. Right, <laughs> Thank on. you. We're all enlightened from it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually watched those movies back in the day. Anyways, mo- moving on. Uh, I think I... If you were running back to the ship, you're like, <laughs> I imagine you coming back just about just as the ship, ship is starting to go up. No, we're not gonna. Uh, leave no, planet. you guys would have landed after the whole debacle. Yeah, because we were helping out people. Sure people, on the ground. We haven't given the order to depart yet, so. True. Yeah. <laughs> you're currently parked. Which, there's something I didn't think about. What's, like, the ambient turbulence level? Like, when we're taking off, is it, like, everyone sit down and things shake? Um, or is it, like, uh, smooth it, it, It's smooth up until you hit, like, five, six hundred feet up. We okay. just fake all the Star Trek jostling around the cabin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had the camera in <laughs> Gungir's Captain Kirk. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> please yeah. tell me that. Uh, <gasps> please tell me that Gungir now has a journal entry. <laughs> Ethereal plate oh, started. <laughs> Wait. Does Wait. Gung- before we get off too far, uh, Ravik, you make it oh, back dang. onto yeah. the ship. This time. Jeez, uh, uh, what the hell did I just miss? Oh, a giant dragon fight. Titan, oh. Titan. Let me just also your brother was here. Oh, strong uh, cobalt guy going. Oh my goodness. You yeah, you know. Him. You did not invite him in here, did you? Well, I mean, he kind of. I think he just kind of wandered in. Yeah, he was on the ship. And you didn't think to kick him out. Well, he's royalty, Ravik. Oh, boy. Okay. What did he do? Liar conspicuously not saying anything. <laughs> oh boy. You guys really fell for it, didn't you? Fell for what? Yeah, I'm starting to think you have something against your brother. No, it's actually, I told him before. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that time when I was all like, oh, we, I should pretend to go evil and stuff? Remember that? Yeah, that was weird. I I, kind of told my brother about it and didn't tell him to stop. Wait, what? You didn't tell him to stop what? Pretending to be be evil? evil? Yes. Oh, he's pretending what to be evil? He's not very good at it and I didn't notice. (laughs) Yeah, what was he trying to do? Did any of you just, you know, ask him? Like, who didn't he talk to specifically? I believe he didn't talk to Asimar. <laughs> I believe he also didn't talk to Fall. and Minerva. Fall as well didn't, because... You guys didn't find that suspicious at all. Well, I mean, not really. We've only seen your brother one other time. He's not Did he write anything people. down? Uh... In one of the other party. Book. Oh, boy. He might have been writing a kill list. 
Oh. Huh? He killed us. This is your brother we're talking well, about, right? Well, he did just leave, so we could probably catch him and tell him to stop being evil. Uh, uh, oh, it's probably oh. better off if I just sending, uh, send him a sending stone. Yeah, you do that. I swear, we're really bad at this. Yeah, you are. I mean, you didn't notice me, and now, I mean, I guess I'm bad at it too. I didn't notice either. I just want to be trusting. (laughs) Oh. I guess that's on me. Cat Galahad. Also, uh, Fall, you you, you know, uh, because this is all going through the intercoms. Oh, wait, it is? Shit, I mean... <laughs> you you wait, can specify keeping it in the... between you guys. Uh, it's going everywhere. We specify it by talking into a cup! <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> oh. Hello, everyone! Anyways, uh, Minerva hands a uh, wife's, like, small amount of gold. Thank you. Oh, you think that you have spoken with your ally? Whatever, she's a glider setter. Not have made that bad. Anyways, as far as that went. Now you know good. how I feel. Sorry. What? As far as that Maybe. lightning was concerned, I thought that was Bow. Bow? Oh, oh, that stuff. Oh, that was a big dragon. He was one of the big... Okay, you remember when we were going through those dwarven mines and we found, like, a, a cultist headquarter meeting place, right? And there was, like, a really... There was a really big dragon. Really big. Bigger than the biggest dragon we'd ever seen. And it was, like, sealed in place. And we called it like what was it like a what a titan or something taken care of by one of the ro- royals naturally right right so this was what what like one of another one of them and yeah the the, the, the king came and they he fuck it up and i helped with a spell a little bit uh good so it wasn't bow oh. no thankfully not a god but uh and then uh well, he really God. He really did a number on this the, the capital city. Uh but it seems like it's gonna repair itself, what with magic and all. And then Azamar Azamar, he got like some kind of power, like a gift from the king. <laughs> he kinda of nervously rubs his back of the head knowing that Ravik wants more power. <laughs> Azamar OP nerf. <laughs> I'd say I, I, I'd say he should have given it to, to Ravik, but you know, Ravik doesn't take gifts from anyone. Also you weren't here. Huh. But yeah. No, I, I mean, you know, it's, it's not like I'm a swordsman or anything. Or something. You know, I, no, no, he's fine. It's fine. It's okay, you know. It's all right. Probably not really an impressive enough sword. I've got a cool stick Gunga made me, so ha. Huh, so I guess it's pretty even. Yeah. You get your power from the king, I get my power from Gunga. You see who comes out on top. Hmm? I think I'd put money on Gunga, really. I mean, I'm happy to take, or happy to receive power from Gunga as well. <laughs> I don't know, maybe like to balance things out a little, you know, we could like borrow some of your cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. No, no, he, we, we don't need to change anything. I mean, the Conqueror's presence, that, that adds stuff to everyone. It does, actually. All yeah. of the natural abilities of the Conqueror, dumb. Also, what was that name that you said there? Oh, oh, that, oh, also, someone's trying to kill me, I forgot. Oh, shit, you're right. I mean, I'm fiddle shoot sticks. Well, I think we can all agree that this like has just that. been a very busy day. I like that. No, no, no. That has to be in character where Galahad just accidentally swears and everybody looks at him like, no, bad child. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't say anything. I've had a lot of worse things. 
Yeah, that was, yeah. was about those, I... Go ahead. So, but yes, someone is trying... Well, sort of my mom is trying to assassinate me, so... Your mother. Actually, it was a, a threatening... With a sort of my mom. Condition. With a condition yeah, to leave her alone. So. She left a note. Gungir has like a... Yeah. Gungir has like a chalkboard out and it's just like writing everybody's problem up on this chalkboard. Mother's trying to kill so and so. Kaiju battle during this date. Ravik's brother might be to... trying to kill us. Yeah, Death God is trying to kill teammate. Oh, I keep forgetting to mention I've got this thing I should I'm supposed to try to do. But like we don't have time to do it and, and I'm not very strong still. But once I'm stronger, there's like some person I have to find and I'd like oh, challenge him to a duel or something. Yeah, you <laughs> I mean, the other, <laughs> the other thing is that uh, I've had Asmar done do some alchemical research and like some powerful legendary po- potions and stuff. And I found one that might be good, but it might increase his life span mm-hmm. to the age of a great dragon. Jesus. And that might make problems with trying to start a relationship <laughs> if you're immortal. I mean... There's like elves and things and every other person is a dragon, so... Yeah, seriously. How do you know you're not a dragon already? <gasps> yeah, but then Morgan would age and die. I mean, I only and that's sad. What if I'm a dragon and I just don't know it? Oh, no! <laughs> I don't want to be a dragon. What if, what if it's also that I'm red and rock got so. horn? Maybe I'm going to be a dragon. I need yeah. DM's approval. Mm. Yeah, I won't be able to fit inside the doghouse. I strung up in the tree in my backyard. Anyway, swiftly moving along. I think I know. Right, me, you just that to the party. All right. Note. First, so, first, so, anyway. so we brought you all up to date like you wanted to be, Ravik. Well, I just asked, where's Morgan? Where's Mo? Oh, uh, do I do I know that? Do, who knows that? Uh, uh, probably would because Morgan? in the same area. Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> no response. Is, 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 is liar well, like? I don't quiet? really remember what happened last. Oh, liar is very quiet. <laughs> Why is uh, the liar knows. Frederick would have noticed her leave. He would have noticed her leave right before the yeast exploded. And before Dragon God. <laughs> yeah, I just put in the chat that uh, Bow is the name of the Lightning God in, my, in the Draconic language. Bow. Ah. Uh, yeah, uh, Frederick, you would have seen Morgan presumably exit the ship. Hmm. Uh, I saw her leave the ship. That's about it. Uh, oh, she skedaddled. That's sad. Also, when are we going to head to this council? I really need to talk to them. All right, all right, I'll go get the ship walked up. All right, all right, travel time. Set sail for adventure! We don't have sails, but all right! Um, well, I try. People. <laughs> so I just really like the idea right, of us manning for, uh, the console like Star Trek. With like yeah, Azamar yeah. as Mr. Spock and Freddy is Zulu and Okay, so would that make fall the red shirts? Galahad gets like a little toy console. <laughs> no, no, all the red shirts don't be bright. I can't be trusted with a real one. <laughs> you you get the smooth jazz button, remember? <laughs> exactly, and it's very important. <laughs> It is. What would that make Fallen Frederick then? Redcoats. 
No, because oh. Barak would be the red shirts. Barak is the red shirt. Because he died. Anyway, moving on. Paul <laughs> is the engine. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Let us laugh. Oh. Liar goes back to her room be after making sure that nobody's hurt. Oh, um, fine. Gungir wants to want to see if Gungir notices Liar's sort of dour demeanor at this moment. Let me see if I can find a sheet. God, so many characters. Attack from yeah, actually, I would like to. I would like to check if I notice that. Uh, where's your insight, buddy? Oh, here it is. Oh, no. Uh-oh. He's, he's, tab. he's wise. I'm unwise. <sighs> where's my unwisdom? <laughs> unwisdom. I Uh-oh. guess deception check. Yes, ma'am. Or you can oh, just set a random DC. Characters. Yeah. DMT. Um... Hang on, where the fuck are you, liar? Somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> um, I think Gungir would probably notice that's quite high. And Ravik. Uh, she seems upset and she's avoiding Galahad again. Aww. Well, that's not good. And just as a joke, Sardon doesn't notice. <laughs> he notices oh, wall. Okay, <laughs> Was not programmed for emotion. All right, Gungir. <laughs> Gungir will kind of take note of that, and the moment we get airborne, he'll actually try to oh. seek her out. I have never noticed that. What? Her in her room. My, uh, on the character icons, there was a little, uh, like, loading icon that was actually going around. Hmm. I never noticed. <clears throat> Maybe a small up- up- update to Rule 20. Alright. Oh, yeah, I think they're actually in Rule 20. The moment we get up into the air and Mr. Toe sets us on course, Gungir will kind of slink away and see if he can go knock on Liar's door. He's going to go up and he's going to... Oh, that can is empty. Mm. Uh, I wish I had something metal. There we go. Do I? Wait, wait, I have something. Wait, no, all the way around. Oh, ah, I need a pencil. Oh, that's too light. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> it's okay. You did it. You did your best. You did your best. But yeah, Gungir will knock it, knock it, knock I was trying to clink them together. Thank you. Hello. Should have clipped that. Damn it. Liar. Version ruined. Ah. Yes. And. Uh. That attack. You might be getting yelled at by her parents. Oh no. Heard a voice in the background. Is male and not familiar. So, so, or am I not hearing her? Like I see her. Oh, she was on her phone. I didn't Uh, see my phone battery was super low. And it just probably died. Uh, Give me a sec to get it started up again. Okay. That's okay. That's fine. I have to wait for my stupid clock. Can you not just turn off the alarm? Hey, I can't. It's battery powered. Need Take out the batteries then. It's way too heavy. Plus, my mother would kill me. 
Well, you gotta learn to start lifting that clock up. Start doing some bench presses with it. Grab that clock, take it in both hands, and lift up, down. Do it right now. Just like you're lifting some triangular weights. You get ripped in no time. It's called the clocker size. You need to learn how to exercise your time. Learn how to balance it correctly. Goomba, fuck you. <laughs> you are a Goomba. I will Goomba stomp you. I'm literally just scrolling through my feed trying to find pictures for these fucking people. Hmm, I'm curious if we can actually see it on stream. Oh, why? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, Java Monster. Goodness. Mm. I should, nope, I should... all I can see on, on your screen is Discord. How dare you allow your phone battery to drop to zero? I'm sorry, it's never at zero. I just forgot to plug it in last night. You're f- night four. Four. And um. You gotta remember to feed it. Feed it all those good I watts. I'm a bad phone mom. Anyway. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Alright. Gun gear. Gun gear is like five minutes later. Still knocking. <laughs> Liar. She opened Liar. The Liar. The uh, Liar. 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 Yes, Gungir. You're like, knocking you're on her right. forehead. <laughs> <laughs> knocking, knocking on her knocking knee. Her yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Gungir. Are you, right? are you doing all right? You look a little upset. Oh. Well, it was... A little frightening, I suppose. The giant dragons fighting outside. Gungir's gonna roll us inside on that. <laughs> shifty eyes, shifty eyes. V shifty eyes. Oof. Yeah, beat well, that. I could always get a nat one. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Well, giant monster battles are terrifying. It was without a doubt the ultimate showdown. Lots of bad guys yeah. and explosions happening all around. God damn it. Why did I knew you were going to do that right? <laughs> it's a good ref. Hush, boy, I'm breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> well, you don't gotta worry now, liar. Those big monsters are gone. Well, one of them's dead. The other one's still living in a castle. But he's not on the ship anymore. And that's what counts. I'm just glad everyone's okay. Gungir gives her gives her legs a big hug and then reassured that everything's all right. He goes waddle on back to the cockpit. Ah, uh, charisma builds. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. But not uh, for right. grabbing a dictionary or two to boost him up in his in the pilot seat. Robbie, <laughs> you fall. Toss me the uh, orb. Falls in his room. <laughs> yeah, I went there. <laughs> okay, in, you're right seeing Paul. Paul having a poker game with uh Minerva and wife. I can't. Minerva want it from me. Yeah, that's right, you little shit. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I swear, you're cheating. Look, I just Shifty need... Shifty eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just need the orb of sending to tell my brother not to be evil. Uh, of us blink slowly. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hand it right he just back. Hands it over. And I'll just say, for the sake of brevity, that he does send a message in that vicinity of not to be evil. I cool. Do not be evil. From Ravik. <laughs> no evil allowed. <laughs> no evil. No evil. Very little evil allowed. Uh, and then he will check in on uh, 
Who was I going to check up on? Oh my god. Liar. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I was like uh, scrambling my names. Oh my god. Oh my right. goodness. He'll knock on her door. <laughs> oh. She oh. opens it again. Uh, I noticed you were distressed earlier. Is everything all right? Uh, yes, it's fine. Oh, here we go insighting again. <laughs> oh boy, here I go insighting again. Oh boy, here I go kill her. again. No. Let's see. Oh wow. It's taking a bit to load. Oh, there you go. Come on. Oh, you peed. Oh, I clicked it. Didn't that go through? Uh, Try that again. Oh, there, oh, there you go. Twenty-one. Oh, I'll just keep my previous deception because it was a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, she's distressed, and maybe it's probably a little more obvious around you anyway, because it's half your fault. <laughs> <sighs> Let me guess. This is something to do with my brother, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, we both have a very similar sense of humor. Uh, I apologize on his behalf. Well, thank you, I suppose. You've never apologized to me before. No, I've learned a few things, but uh, you kind of remind me of my younger sister. Which is why I've changed my ways around you, at least. Mm. Well, thank you, I suppose. <sighs> anyway, uh... Yeah, I'll make sure that doesn't happen again. Thank you. I just... I don't find it very funny. <laughs> It wasn't supposed to be a joke. Of course it's a joke. A very mean one. (sighs) I'm feeding Tito. Normally I... He's supposed to pride himself on his work, but uh, other things are withstanding, so... Um, I don't know about his work or any of the rest of it. Because... Never mind. You seem angry. Well, I suppose I am a bit. I'm sorry. No, it's understandable, I suppose. I just... I, uh, yeah, sorry. Thank you. And, uh, Ravik will awkwardly leave because he doesn't know what else to say. (laughs) Fair. I press the button. (laughs) I'm thinking of trying to cook again after the yeast explosion Gungear slowly swivels around in his seat his fingertips (laughs) arched oh no 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 no, not steepled (laughs) <laughs> no, Where did no. You get that cat? not this time, Galahad. I'm afraid there is no church and all happy people inside. Not with your cooking, Frederick. I'm afraid from now on that shall be left up to liar or me if the need comes of it. Uh, it was one time I could try again. Hmm. Indeed you can try again, but not in this kitchen. 
No. Don't Not in this kitchen. Allow him to try. He has to express himself. Hmm. Please don't. Roll a persuasion to persuade Gun Gear. <laughs> oh boy. My, oh boy. My wisdom character is going to roll persuasion. Oh, I was telling Galahad. <laughs> oh, I know oh, you were saying me. Can I, can I assist Galahad? This is my two anyway. Me too, yeah. It's... Okay, yeah, never mind then. Do I? I didn't notice that was Galahad's roll. You speak wise words, Galahad. <laughs> are very wise. I <laughs> say, <laughs> you know, it was a stressful situation. A lot of weird things were going on all at once, and as long as he has proper guidance and doesn't do any without our teacher, our great and illustrious cooking teacher here. I think it'd be fine. Gungir quickly puts up his hand like a godfather, um, telling his henchmen to hush. (laughs) (laughs) And he will... Immediately when he does that. And he will look at Frederick. (laughs) I will give you another chance, Frederick. But understand one thing. Any damages that arise in that kitchen will come out of your non-existent paycheck. <laughs> Wait, non-existent? Well, I mean, let's be honest. We get paid when we adventure. <laughs> I mean, it's true. It's not annual or anything, but... So it has been decided. <laughs> All right. Avil. <laughs> Sardon, take note. Oh, wait, Sardon's not programmed for taking notes. (laughs) Don't he drop this down? (laughs) And Gungir will slowly, like, swivel back around in his chair. (laughs) Like, awkwardly slowly. (laughs) Like... (laughs) All right. There's like a there's like a small stack. He's he's like assembled a small stack of papers behind him on a desk. Like, <laughs> and now back to business. And then he just flips the the stack of papers <laughs> one by one. He slowly does it in a think in like a ponderous thinking position, like he's trying to think of important business <laughs> while just tossing out a single paper at a time. I finally finished later. Got lag. Okay. Alright, so I'm just gonna this time to say while this all has been going on, you have been traveling through the air. I'd say about it's been maybe 30 minutes. These conversations have been taking a while and they're awkward. Oh, you were about, as I said, half an hour through your journey. It'll take about a eh, three-ish hour flight. You're already half an hour in, so two and a half more hours. If you guys don't need to do anything in the meantime, no. I bet we're going to scare the hell out of these poor druids, this massive flying metal thing just coming over their forest. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Now remember, Toe, landing in a sea of trees is not land is not like landing in a sea of sea. There's a well, lot more landing living... Landing is thi- not uh, something I'm hello, really hello? used to in the general. Yeah, we can hear you, kid. Ah, thank God. Oh, I hate my internet. Landing's not something I'm really used to in general yet, but I've done it like three times now, so <laughs> I'm starting to gain confidence. I'm sure that's more than most people in this world. <laughs> I hate my internet so much. Hmm. Playing about later. <laughs> 
Is that like a druid thing, Frederick? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, the we druid also shit. call it. We call. We call it the interweb. So what? That's something Why to do web? with spiders. Isn't that lost? Isn't that the lost domain? The World Wide Web? <laughs> ah, damn it. <laughs> Dot law. Uh, Alright, this one's gaining too much intelligence of the outside world. Time to put down old yeller. <laughs> no. Yeah, we... The we DM shotgun set, out. We usually use animal messenger, but speckle. they're all... They, we what usually send animal, animal messengers, but they're all what spiders. Come on, too. All right. We tried yeah, using a new program. In here. We tried using a new program ready. called. Can I finish my joke really quick? No. Oh, yeah. no go ahead. We tried. We tried using a new program called Critter, but no, it never caught on. The joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so bad, you should feel bad. I'm gonna send you to the shadow realm. Well, there's a shadow realm that I can send you to. I'm so scared because whenever you guys go silent, I think my internet goes out. I think I'm you're just lagging face, far behind, man. No, my internet actually like died for a second. Mm. Well, there's nothing that we can do about it. Yeah, I know. I know. Let's just continue. Let's just go. Um, if anybody else has anything else to say, that, otherwise we're just going to... Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy airship music plays. Okay. I'm no. ready. Alright, so you get yourselves prepared for the journey ahead, and you land in the woods. Sadly, you don't really have a good map for this shit, or a map at all. The window. How do I do, boss? <laughs> I don't know. Rate your parking on a one d twenty. So I just got the mental Joking. image of us like actually landing in the forest and there's like woodland creatures crushed underneath the sub. Uh, no. <laughs> can the sub wait, can the sub suspend like ten feet above a hundred feet or you know twenty feet above the ground? I would think that there is like a suspension and yeah. some sort of ladder bridge. Yeah. Yes. Let's do it that way. Your parking's okay. <laughs> that was a joke, cat. <laughs> You're good. You're good. You're like, good. Back over tree. Yeah, yeah, like the tip of the sub is like buried into a forest, but the later half is still like floating above. <laughs> it's like let, fine. Let, level it out. I don't let. need to even it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not like we need the parallel part. Yeah, this is fine. We won't get a ticket. The heck is parallel parking? Hush, boy. We'll worry about that when your says when your society gets to it. <laughs> Inside, we don't speak of such evils. <laughs> oh, I'm Inside sorry, sorry, from I'm not, Frederick on that. We don't speak of All such right. evils. Gungear will kick open. Will kick down the door and uh, and roll down the ladder. And go hopping on down. So, Freddy, do you know where this druid circle is that you need to get to? I just know it's here. Where? Also, Frederick will be like, see it, guys, down at the bottom. Jumps off. <laughs> like, fully okay, jumps bye. out of the ship. <laughs> All right. Swan dives out, commits seven. Like, oh, dive. Okay. Any Dude, reaction from the others? Frederick? No. No. I mean, if he wants to jump out of the ship, he's more than welcome to. No, right. okay, okay. Seriously, Galahad uh, goes to like try to catch him. He's like, oh, what are you doing? As soon as you do that, you see his form start to glow and he changes into a falcon. Yeah. yeah, I usually figure when people do stupid things, there's probably going to be some magic imminently afterwards. 
<laughs> yeah, pretty much. That just goes with my theory that half of the population on this world is shapeshifters. Wait, how far how far down are we right now? Is it right? Yeah, like I jump out right now. Forty ish feet. I do it. <laughs> All right. I mean, you can also glide down with me. Well, I have a perfectly good rope ladder. Oh, guys. Oh, Siri. Oh. <laughs> You're yeah, ruining the purpose of the rope ladder. Everyone just beats ah! themselves off the ship. I mean, I could teleport down, but I want to use the rope ladder. Oh, thank you. At least someone ex- respects the rope ladder. <laughs> I like rope ladders. You it reminds me of the sea. It's nifty. And Gungir will climb on to will climb onto Toe's back as he climbs. Okay, down. so I'm um, <laughs> just gonna say for sake of brevity, um Weiss and Minerva are not joining you this That's mission as is fall. And I'm assuming wire. Yeah, yeah, we 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 like to have people well oh yeah, I was gonna say which character do you want to break? Uh, I don't need to. <laughs> Liar's not feeling great. <laughs> He's in a mood. <laughs> okay, that's a little rude. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of a joke, but okay. Anyways, meanwhile, on the ground, everybody... Cuddle. <laughs> Gungir will bring Sardon along, naturally to impress the druids. Up here. Does Sardon use the rope ladder? <laughs> oh, he falls off, but he takes no fall damage. <laughs> he pretends to use the rope ladder yeah, as just... he uses his rockets to help him descend. <laughs> <laughs> it's very unnatural. Protocol. Why do I just imagine it's basically, uh, Jack from Tekken games. Never played Tekken. What? It, I, I, yeah, I recognize that though. Jack is. You, hey. you would like that comparison. Jack, let me look. We'll all reconvene on the ground. Basically, he sake. has a flight move that. Uh, it's literally him just jumping in the air. Hello? Yeah, I heard you. I heard you. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, thank God. It went quiet. Mm. Oh, he's just basically the robot version of the uh, of the guy from Street Fighter. <laughs> he's wild. Like, he looks human, but, like, the things they have his character do are wild. There we go. Okay. So Gungir will transfer from Toe's shoulders onto Sardon's shoulders, and he's actually going to look up at Fred, at Frederick, and be like, "Do you, do you know where we need to go? Because well, I'm going to be honest, I get lost in my own backyard." Ah! Ah! I'm good at tracking things. If somebody can like point out a druid trail. <laughs> Druid tracks well, four, five days old. Let's try to find one. Guess roll. Okay. Uh, survival. Um, can Hengrun try to do that? Yes. What Advantage bonus? for the bird. What bonus would Hengrun have? Uh, a plus what? No beans. Ludwig has a plus five. Okay. Who's tracking? Okay. Oh, D twenty plus twi- five with an advantage. They are tracking creatures. Can I investigate the druid tracks instead? <laughs> uh, one, 20 and twenty-four. Sardon uh, will use we'll his natural. Say, let's see. Ten uh, flies up your shoulders and finds a small guess. What would it be? Uh, small pendant of sorts made out of uh, stone. 
and flies up back up to you and places it in your hand. Ooh. I think I think Ken found something, guys. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yes. Hey, welcome back there. <laughs> Calm down, it'll be all right. <laughs> this is we so found annoying. a trail, Frederick. <laughs> Frederick, you're in your episode stomach. and fucking you're having internet problems, go figure. Uh, Maybe we should do a different quest today. <laughs> this is why I, this is why I don't play. record the sessions. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna try. Okay, I'm actually gonna ask for a break. <laughs> I'm gonna try resetting and resetting my router. See if that helps. All right, as you wish. Hey, well, look at that! Wow, Hen, you you took your sweet time. wandering around, oh, lost. Oh. Talking about mulch. <laughs> Treats, treats, ah, uh, treats, ah. Uh. I give him ten treats. <laughs> you, I just assume you feed him a ration. Sure. Give him a he will thing. eat it. Hold on. <laughs> so, what do we do now? We can we follow, follow the this trail? end of this. <laughs> you can follow uh, Ken's trail, because he knows where it is. <laughs> oh, it's just Hen who has trail. That was like a visual trail. It was a collective button. Uh, most of the characters rolled really low. <laughs> Can I roll? Can I roll to see if I notice uh, it? Yes, for uh, Freddy, you may. Perception yeah. or survival, it up. Survival. Survival. Oh, survival. Z. Yeah. I just like to imagine that Freddy's hawk form suddenly has like the Microsoft loading bar while he's in midair, <laughs> and we're all just awkwardly standing around. Nineteen. <laughs> okay, nineteen. Not bad. Okay, so you do see uh, a sort of dirt path off the side of the road that you're currently on. Like this is a gravel path you're currently like parked near. You see, like, a small dirt path that's, like, definitely off the beaten path. If you Can were I roll a druid, you would want your huh? piece of operations to be hidden. Yeah, I was going to ask. Can I roll to see if this is, like, druid made or somebody or somebody who traveled here made this? Roll knowledge nature. Advantage. Growing Got there. Took uh, a knowledge bit. nature was a fan. Natural, Natural 20. 20. Nice. Was 100% oh, made by the druids. You can tell because it's... You, you know for a fact that other druids, even ones not even in the circle or just affiliated with them, know that there's always a secret path to wherever uh, a main operation of any of the high druids of the court side uh yeah this is a this is like I guess it's too secret druid guild or uh, ha, ha. secret secret druid, druid path yeah secret oh. druid path oh you found it Frederick and Hen found this amulet and with these two clues we are going to find our way to this dense forest mm-hmm alrighty Who's leading the way? I will. Uh, okay, I would have suggest Frederick because he knows more about druids, but okay. Well, I mean, you two can be up front. Well, I one. can let us move normally through difficult terrain. <laughs> but oh, I know more yeah, about... Yeah, but this is unfamiliar terrain to you, Flynn. You would it doesn't matter. To... I'm a <laughs> scout. <laughs> I'm saying for this, you get nothing. Deal no, with it. I don't yeah. get nothing. Unfamiliar terrain. You're not familiar with a form. There is no such thing as unfamiliar terrain for me. <laughs> I, don't care. I have a f- feet. Deal with it. GM says. Yeah, yeah. Look at all these things I get. <laughs> I don't care. GM. I'm ignoring that. Here's the thing. 
here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing. Your thing might be unfamiliar, non-magical terrain. Uh, this is druids we're definitely. dealing with. We don't know what type of magic they've done to this place. Uh -huh. No, it's okay. No, a, a master of the natural world. If you, you can be a master this of the natural unnatural. world, but if you, step, <laughs> if you step foot in a forest, all bets are off. All bets Thank are off, you. my dudes. I mean, it's Thank a forest. You. That's like un, that's totally unnatural. And this is also this is a forest with a lot of a lot of druids in connection to the Feywild. It's not part of our right. natural world. Right, druids. They have nothing to do with the natural world. You're right. Druids never are associated with the natural world. I'm saying natural world because of fey magic. On. They use fey magic. Moving on. <laughs> so anyway, who is walking in front, Frederick or? We'll just assume Freddy, because you clearly see. I the think. Path. I think Cat's mad. She muted herself. Cat, mm. please come back. I don't have anything to contribute. Go ahead. So what do I roll to help these guys? Well, since you're leading the way, just, uh, I guess, continue to roll survival with advantage. Okay. Since you rolled that natural 20, that that's going to stick with you. Ooh. <laughs> 10! Uh, let me roll my dice here. Hold on, wait. I think I actually have something that could help me. Potentially. Okay. Uh, let's see. No, not that. Called, uh, intuitive. Uh, nope, never mind. Okay, well, thankfully, the forest rolled a nine. That's <laughs> randomness. I'll continue to follow the path for a while. Roll again, please. With vantage again? Uh, no, this will be straight. Flynn, would you like to give me assistance? <laughs> nope, sorry, can't. It's magical. Very unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh, uh, let me see here. Ooh, with that roll, you get pretty far. About an hour and a half, and you hit it. it um, really nasty-looking gnarled trees that just don't look natural in any way. Hmm. This doesn't seem natural in any way. You have a feeling, Frederick. You're <laughs> that I know Frederick. nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy, you have this odd feeling that you you know you're getting closer. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do something to help uh -huh. us. I it will. It doesn't have a door in it. <laughs> Does it have a door? Huh? What do I roll? Yeah. Uh, let's see. If you, why, are you still gonna follow the path, or are you gonna investigate the area? Investigate the tree a bit. Uh, I guess for investigation. Oh boy, my worst, one of my worst stats. Fifteen, solid. It's a really angled maple tree. Okay, uh, if that is the case, I am going to cast a spell. Speak with plants. Okay. Uh, Let me see. Oh, well, I'm double checking my notes here. <laughs> okay. We're in a forest, so this is the best place to use it. Okay. Uh, oh, who says that? What? Do you need Earth Hello? Walker? Oh, it's okay. Twice. Uh, God, I'm Walker. so scared. Have to be quiet for the moment. 
Okay, so who says that? The maple tree? Okay. Uh, Frederick goes, uh, hey, so we're looking for a circle of druids. <laughs> Know where they are? I cannot understand you at all. Uh, I hate your internet. You see why I hate it? I mean, I I, I can't really. It's so quiet for me. Oh, uh, I can't do anything about that. My mic is literally right next to my face. Just speak normally. Terror. Uh, I want to do fucking creepy voice. <laughs> of a table. Loads up freaking <laughs> tabletop just to flip a table. <laughs> joking, joking. Okay. You are drawing near, Earth Walker. Circle of Druid. Uh. So, question, why are you here? You don't see natural foliage. Ian, my brethren. You look around, you see more mangled trees. Like, as it goes further. It's just oh, not no. this one. That's a bunch of them. Ian, um, the protectors. The inner forest. We are to mark. Point. No return. Okay. Uh. Oh, we want to return. Oh, sorry, I can't understand him. Yeah, you can't speak to him. Only I can understand him. You're not Cedarbrook in this. Not a tree. Yet. Anyway. Uh. So, could you tell us where to find them? Continue your path. We'll okay. Oh. Bye. Voice fades. <laughs> okay. Sweet. So, uh, just follow the path. Tree dude said to follow the path. But such thing. Or you're banished from this campaign. <laughs> oh no. Where's Tom and- to the shadow room. That was all. Tom and Storm. Oh, I'm right here. Mm-hmm. They died. Can you guys they hear me? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we can oh, hear okay. you now. Oh, we can hear you now. Yeah, now you guys see why I hate my internet so much. <laughs> I think everybody's just being quiet just to uh, let you have your, you know, bits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, internet issues. So I guess we'll follow the trail. Aye aye. Survival, mate. Our okay, survival coming up. And let's see what our our don roll here. Uh, survive. I probably don't have survival selected. Fourteen. Uh, continue down the path. Ooh, since you know. The tree told you to follow the path. You're basically just watching the ground, occasionally looking up. You get whacked in the face a couple times by a couple branches. Hey, not cool, tree dudes. Not on purpose. Those were (laughs) low-hanging branches. And I went for a low-hanging fruit. Okay. (laughs) Um, All right, roll another survival then, jackass. I was making a joke. Unbelievable. I mean, you still have to roll anyways. Wait, why are you saying unbelievable? Uh, Could you please try to take this seriously? We're a seri- serious dungeon and dragons camp. 22. Jesus, 22. Okay. Make it very far down this winding, gnarled tree trail, and you eventually a different set of trees now 
further along this path ahead of you, there leaves. There what? It's pink leaves. Pink tree. P- pink leaves. Did you seriously put sakura trees in this? Maybe. You know what? Maybe they're nice. Uh, how long have we been traveling? And say ten minutes. God damn it! Minutes. I would have to cast speak with plants again. Uh, so should I ask these trees for directions as well? Look at the others. If you feel we're lost. How confident well, do I? Expert. How confident do I feel here? What would that be as a roll me out of character? <laughs> uh, maybe an intelligence check? To, uh, based on knowledge of the area? Or wisdom? Yeah, wisdom with advantage. Just a strong wisdom with advantage check. Very confident. You don't have to ask for the trees. Nah, I think we're okay. Just follow the trail. Hey, it's Ravik. How nice are these trees? Are there like any like <laughs> any? Because uh, I got these trees flower. are very beautiful. They're very large in comparison to the gnarled, mangled maple trees and other. Do they have any trees. fruits on them? Um, and you, you see, like, buds of, uh, well, what would be the equivalent of rosebuds on these trees? And you do see some, like, weird types of fruit. I guess I'm going to roll nature word. to figure out what these fruits are. Yes, you may. In one can, if they so please. <laughs> I guess I can try. Not, or, is this with advantage or normal? This is a straight. You have not 15. seen these in a while. Fifteen. Is this with advantage? <laughs> <laughs> We've both got that twenties. On the other, on side, the other yeah. side. All those nat twenties on the other side, though. Gee. Um. Roll twenty is oh, being nice because of my internet. You pick a couple. Sure. That was terrific. I need to as well. World survival. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I will um, six. I, I'll say you pick a like eh, three or four flowers. Eight. And Frederick. These are. Let's see, what what identification did I give them? They have their scientific name, and then they have what people call them. Their scientific name is Pinksa... I just tongue-twisted myself, got job me. Pinkus, a very large pink flower. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not wrong. What about the fruit? Fruit identification is known as a seed flare. Is there any seed special seed property flare, to them? Yes. Uh, if you plant them after a series of about a week, they will bloom into a flower that will then shoot its seeds out in a hundred mile radius growing more of these trees and I will keep doing that until the area is covered in trees similar to how this area is set up they will eventually grow into these trees from these flowers are these fruits edible? Mm, they're edible but they're not very nutritious any alkaline chemical purposes? Uh, actually, I would know that. You can use them for dyes, clothing, but that's about it. Flower for pink dye. What about the fruit itself? Is red or brown. Ah, so just... on, uh, how ripe it is. 
This is where that red dye number seven comes from. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't eat the fruits. They're not. They're not good for you. Just to make sure I heard that right, you said that this flower shoots out its seeds like over a couple of miles? Or this? 100 miles. 100 miles. 100 mile radius. So basically, it shoots out like little, like the little dandelion sort of seeds where they float through the air? Yes, basically. I was thinking more like a peat plant. Yeah, either or. We could. Nah, that wouldn't. <laughs> I'm just thinking. Your mom. We could. We could turn this plant into a magic messaging system where we whisper a message into the plant and it shoots out a little like dandelion leaf and it floats the people as we pass over with a message. <laughs> However, here's the thing. Each individual flare takes a whole week to process. I mean, it's not so, an efficient dip- message. If you wanted to leave a very belayed message for somebody like way the hell in the future, you could. Yeah, it is still a plant that would take time to grow. No, oh, just the thought. The flare takes a week to spread out, grow, then spread out. And then eventually it'll grow into the full size tree. How much time? That's unknown. Like, I was thinking we could fly over an area and have, like, load these seeds up with, like, an advertisement for Titnag Buku Wabansi <laughs> and carpet bomb an area of where these trees would sprout up really quickly, deliver the message, and then die. <laughs> and we could do that once a week. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> hashtag go pink, tit new Bugawabansi. Guys, I assume you guys just follow the path now? Oh, yeah. 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 Talk and talk if you wish. Here we go. Take us some water real quick. <clears throat> mm. All right. Uh, so, you I'm know where imagine, you're. Uh, Gungir's in like an explorer outfit with like a machete. <laughs> He's still riding atop Sardon's shoulders. He's got his goggles down though. He will be constantly asking, Do you know where we're going? Are we there yet? Yes, I do, and no, we're not. Oh. Are we there yet? Meow. I. Now? <clears throat> I- we're not. I've never been to an actual druid circle before. Are these not your people? I was trained in Feywild magic by the Feywild itself. So that's a no. Technically, You're... you have heard of the other courts. There's a total of, I believe... How many? Okay. And each wo- each representative of said uh, the head honcho of said court. Eventually they meet together at the main court discuss business or uh, the year ahead. You know that there's a court of spring, summer, fall, and winter respectively. That was a court of me? Shut up. <laughs> there is a... Uh, bah, there is a wild, the one where you reside from. And then there's the one of the night. Hmm. There is no current uh, holder for the... For the which one? You cut out for me. Yeah, me too. All right. Oh, I'll I'll just type it in so we have. (laughs) 
What the? Hello? Yeah, Hi. we can hear you, Kit. I just heard someone leaving and re-entering. That was me. Oh, that oh, scared it's... me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm a he's got PTSD. Paranoid. Mm. Course, the spring uh, and the full wild. <clears throat> yeah, well, in Frederick's background, it actually says that when he was a little kid, he actually teleported to the Feywild wild. By accident. Yeah. Interesting. Um, bu- 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 bu. You guys continue along the path. Ready? Roll one more survival with advantage. <laughs> you rolled so high last. E22 same roll. Right. Eventually you tra- traverse through these trees. These Pinkus Maximus. <clears throat> and you eventually reach another set of trees, but these are golden oak. You know these from where you grew up, actually. Okay. Are very common in the Feywild. Like, they're... I'm a dozen, basically. I think we're close. These trees are very common in the Feywild. Oh, thank goodness. It's so hot. Eventually, you reach a gigantic gigantic tree in the middle of all these golden oaks. This thing towers above all the other trees. Huh. Like it's hundreds of feet tall. I think it's safe to assume we've reached our objective. Whoa! Yep. Do notice one thing, though, as you're traversing this area. A light mm, sort of mist is around you. Uh, Freddy, you're oh, very no. familiar with this mist. This is the yep. wild. Well, at least well, illusion of sorts. Oh, famous. Excuse me, what? Mist of the Feywild surrounding us. Oh boy. Well, I'm guessing that's why we didn't see this giant towering tree from from our flight. Surprisingly, the flight was clear all the way over. This tree definitely was not here when you were flying overhead. Would have hit it. We cross over into another plane of existence. Sometimes they do that. They're tricksters. Mm. Are they not? Hmm. They, a lot of fays like to play tricks on people. It certainly will feel like another plane of existence, from what I've heard. Frederick will yell out, "Yo, we're here to see the the Druid Circle." Get no response. Orver, you uh, roll oh. perception for me, Freddy. One perception coming up. Maybe we're supposed to do some crazy druid greeting. <laughs> I like trees. Sixteen. Right. See a small flashing yellow tiny, tiny thing fly, uh, like, pushing on and off yellow in front of you, and it lands on your nose. It's a firefly. Huh. Come in tree, please. Huh. Firefly. Sweet. Don't eat it. <laughs> Don't eat it. Continues to That's glow while it's on your nose, so now you have a glowing nose every once in a while. Mm. Okay. Uh, I think I actually have the spell. I can't remember what level it is. With animal? Yeah, I'm trying to find my speak with animal spell. It's like there it is. Three. It's a level one spell. I mean, might be. I will cast it. Uh, hey, Gloy, dude. 
Hello, giant tree person. Wait, what? Oh, I called you a tree person because of the uh, twigs and leaves stuck in your hair. Ah. Uh, hey, little dude. We're looking for the druid circle. Do you think you can help us? Oh, must be friends of fall, winter, or spring. It, see it perk up visibly. Uh, my circle was a fey circle, wasn't it? Uh, well, you're, uh, eh, you weren't really inducted into it or really invited. You kind of just like showed up there. <laughs> uh, technically, I'm part of the fey wild circle. Ah, uh, I see. Looking for the meeting room, uh, the, it points a tiny little, uh, little feeler arm out towards the giant tree. It's in there. Oh, so do I do a spell to get in, or do I just walk just in? Walk, walk, walk into the tree, it says okay. calmly. <laughs> fall will start to, or, not fall. Frederick. Frederick. Oh, why are you here? You're banished to the shadow room. <laughs> oh no, I'm meeting hell again. Chaos <laughs> <laughs> yes, magic. Anyways, he will walk into the tree. Come on, guys. Gun Wait, gear. Uh, walk into the tree. Hey. You phase through it. <laughs> I was about to say, Gun Gear, like, holds out his arm to stop everyone real quick, and he's going to wait and see if Freddy, like, slams his face into the tree trunk first. You just see him phase into the tree. Okay, good. Good. Gun Gear, kind of... I don't want him. I hope they don't mind six random people wandering into their tree. Seven. Sorry, Sardon. Pat Sardon on the head. Oh, surely no. Well, people and a Drake. <laughs> oh, yeah, the good boy came along. Feel you know, free to on. pull yourselves onto the map. Oh. I'll be down here. Ah, table. Convenience 100. Same table that I reuse for every meeting room. <laughs> I'm sorry, is that one druid cross eyed? Which one? The, the one off to the left uh, with the antlers. The pink hair girl? Yeah. Is she cross eyed? Oh. No, she's just looking down at him. <laughs> I mean, druids are some wacky people. <laughs> I, for a second, I thought she was a character from My Hero Academia. <laughs> she, so, she looks gross. <laughs> right, uh, let's everybody on the map. Drag Sardon on to here. I'm sure it's who, made the, who made this woman a druid? I did, sir. She's my cousin. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised Zardon can make it because druids don't technically usually like metal. Hush up, boy. They haven't met Sardon yet. He might be made of metal, but he has a heart of gold. Wait, no, that's still metal. <laughs> <laughs> he has a heart of oak. Anyways, moving on. He has you sap gotta... running through his veins. May I speak? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. But I'm not going to be interrupted. Walk into the tree through what was a invisible force field of sorts. Invisible entryway is more the proper term. See six individuals sitting at a table made of pure oak, while all the other chairs are also made of oak. They're just logs. The, the ch- <laughs> Wait, why is it not? Why isn't oak and not mahogany? Because it's the stump. Deal with it. <laughs> I guess I will not disrespect a mahogany tree by making it a stump. <laughs> Are they saying anything or? Um, 
they're speaking to each other, but now they've noticed you and have stopped. Uh, yo. They look to each other, then look at you. Oh, thank goodness. We put the best <laughs> man in charge. Uh, Frederick Albin, he puts out his hand. Uh, to try to greet them. <laughs> Seeing if uh, any of them will take a handshake. Uh, the one that you just walked up to will sh- uh, awkwardly shake your hand. Her hand feels very cold to the touch. Hmm, Winter Druid. In the flash. He's a tiefling, B- BTW. Ah. Huh. And I take it you're a spring druid? I'm the fall. Oh, oh I... You've looked different since the last time we saw you, buddy. Yeah, you've gone cross-eyed. She raises her <laughs> eyebrow, looking <laughs> rather confused. Uh, so let me reveal... Uh, set characters, uh, all players. Let's do winter first. Show. Winter. Look at that cute granai. I mean, pet tiefling. What'd you call? It's a granai from World of Warcraft. Yeah, yeah she's cross eyed. <laughs> Uh, we have the other tiefling. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go fire a warning shot across a princess's nose. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And we have... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ring. Oh. Oh, her legs. What about how her legs? I, how did I miss the deer hooves? Yeah, uh, oh. Summer has deer hooves. Gungir oh. will add a tally to his notebook. <laughs> his foot journal? Uh, his uh, half breed journal. <laughs> we have Ring, who's an elf. Okay. We have what you can assume is the night druid looking the most. Fairious of all of them. The Morse Edgelord. Yeah, Edgelord yeah. McGee. <laughs> and she's got some rather she bad cataracts. Looks very, very wild. And then we have the only male who you can assume is Fay Wild, dude. Okay. Uh, does, does he have green? Do, do his hands smell like farts? <laughs> <laughs> um, I just uh, got they, done. They scratch. look to each other after you're done greeting them. Hey, we help you. The guy says, Ah, uh, Frederick, you know, good with introductions. Allow me. And I bow and I say, We are Tukunu Buku Wabansi. The semi, semi-greatest mercenary hiring help group you've two, seen in two, the three, ethereal plane. Five, six. Okay, and one of them has heard of you. <laughs> we, well, received some sort which of one job? in particular? Agile Lord, go figure. <laughs> and we received she says some nothing. Sort of job to come here. Uh, well, we'll take what we can get as far as publicity. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hey, we I'm... help you, the mail says. Yes, uh, I came to report in something that I found in the Feywild. By the way, uh, Feywild drew it like yourself. Mm. Well, rub his chin. Well, go on, say your news. Well... I found a portal to the Feywild near a castle, decided to go in, and when I went in, I traveled a bit, 
and discovered something bad. He says something bad. All of you. Wait, what did he say? He said, please, all of you. There's not enough oh. chairs. <laughs> To lean on or something. <laughs> yeah, Azamar could be the edge lord down, finally. I just sit down on the ground. Sardon takes a seat and Gungir continues to realized, sit on Sardon's shoulders. I just realized Flynn isn't right. here. Oh, I forgot to add him here. Flynn, it's not Sorry, you guys. Can't, can't, can't come. It's <laughs> not natural. It's not natural. He got lost. Oh, you can come. Flawed. <laughs> here, Tom. I'll go back and find Flynn. There we are. You can sit on Sardon's lap. He's got enough space. Anyways. Hmm. <laughs> what did you discover yeah. in the Feywild? So, while there, I discovered a creature swimming around. It seemed that a Leviathan somehow ended up in that world. Leviathan? The druid court looks to each other and starts mumbling in druid Reaper speech. Leviathan. I can understand that because I speak druidic. He is a druid. But they simply are speaking amongst each other. They're like, we do. This sounds like a major problem. And it's worse. Oh, it gets worse. So. <laughs> uh, so as it was chasing me, well, before it chased me, I discovered in its mouth was a dead. Uh, what'd you call it? Like a fave archer? What? Arch oh yeah, arch. Uh, an arch fay, a dead one. Hmm. Mm. Oh, Ravik has something to say. Yes, Ravik. Uh, sorry, this is gonna bother me if I don't ask this right now. Are you two a thing? He's pointing at win the winter one and the summer one. <laughs> <laughs> they look to each other. <laughs> we don't believe so. Uh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shipping what? senses are Rat. tingling. <laughs> Anyways, um, wonder why that one archfey didn't report in. I'll investigate this matter personally. It's the overseer of the Feywild. I mean, we could lend ourselves some service. Well. As much as I appreciate the offer, magic must defeat magic. <laughs> oh yeah, you cut out. Realm. <laughs> Can I? You cut out on magic. Eh. Magic like yours and mine seem to only work. As is, our magic as druids will only work within our respective realms of existence. Then others, they may go haywire, so to speak. Our friends' magic here might not exactly work the way they would. Well, I mean, that's not half bad. Oh, dear. I mean... You're I constantly believe. dealing with wild magic if you're not a druid. Uh, that's I mean, not a problem. There's one of their teammates that's a wild magic sorcerer. So they're probably used to that. That's unfortunately. I was, I would was, be immune in that realm to for wild magic surges. Oh. I was just about to say, uh, our cobalt friend only ever does electric punches. Uh, our knight like he just uses his sword and shield or no our tracker back there doesn't even do spells. Mm. I I use magic. 
much yeah, he does magic. Much yeah. as I appreciate the information that you have provided for me in the court, I simply can't overlook a leviathan being amongst my people and causing a ruckus and killing my most trusted of Archfey supporters. I wish I to help. I, I wish to help. I I spent most of my childhood in the Feywild magic, and I refuse to just sit back and watch the Feywild get hurt. And You'll actually notice this is this is actually very serious compared to Fred, how Frederick's usually been. And can I roll persuasion for that? Suppose. Uh, let me see. Persuasion. Either way, it's not gonna 11. Beat his roll. Mm-hmm. I understand your concern. I know you've been raised amongst the fairies, the pixie of my realm. Mr. Albine. Your fate? I kept an eye on you since you ever entered the realm. I never took initiative to investigate how or why. Fruits of your nature, our nature, happen very rare occasion. However, you are not fully equipped to the Leviathan. At oh. And unlike most of the other Orch members here, I am simply mortal. Well, I would need a successor in case if I did fail. Mm. The uh, the other five druids look to him as if he's nuts or lost it. Can't be serious. There has to be another way. You can't sacrifice yourself for this. Then the Edge Lord speaks up. If it's any consolation, we've taken care of dragons before and large creatures. Several of them, then, actually. Uh, Safi Jiva, to be exact. We may all be mortal. Do and look back to the uh, Ed Druid. Who you assume is the wild mage, wild druid? If I fall, I need a successor to lead my place. And he will pull off a necklace around his neck and slide it directly across the table to you, Frederick. Frederick will look at it. It is a very beautiful cut piece of moonstone. A very common ore that you can find in the Feywild. In the real world that you reside in outside of this realm, it's rare, expensive to get a hold of. It's usually only accessible to the elves. Hmm. So, to understand this correctly, he's basically making me his successor? Yes. Offering Dang. it to you, at least. Frederick will kind of look at it a bit and just go, Lucky I don't body. feel like I'm... Huh? What were you going to say? Take it. I don't feel worthy enough to take it. I haven't proven myself enough. Sounds like and you need to fight it then. That rubs, kind of the man rubs, rubs his chin. That sounds like your ticket of being my successor. What do you want? Can your friends join me on this raiding party? For this thing. I'll talk about adding you to the druid circle. 
Maybe. Maybe. Welcome to, to decline the position. I don't know if I want to be in a druid circle yet. Do it! It'll be fun. I have a question out of character. Would that mean that Frederick would have to leave the party? Yes. Uh, full time position. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's the case because well, you can turn I don't feel like. Sure. I mean, we're not age, we're not short on spellcasters, and character in in character would be a good position for him. True. I mean, he'd be you literally know. moving up from. Mm -hmm. If you earn your position now, you can take it later. Or at least uh, know to prove it to yourself. You can do it. Frederick will then look at him and just go, I want to see how far I can get in this mission before I agree to join the circle. Oh, nod sagely. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention is that he's really old. Like, he's like 70, 80 ish. For Trace. Or at least he looks 70 or 80 body age wise. The others look like they're probably like 20s, 30s ish. But he's got a six pack like Jack Lane. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's built. <laughs> I want to see how well I can take care of this Leviathan before I agree to become part of the circle. As you wish. It'll take some time to gather my forces. Force. My people, people that I trust to help me defend the realm, the other Archfey, we will fight off s small fries while you take care of the big one. Unfair. Very well. Good. And if you, of course, you will become. S you will be compensated accordingly for helping save my realm. Well, I see no downside to this. Win-win for all of us. Alright, give me about 24 hours. Before we meet here. Before he even gets up or moves from the table, the Gungir slides a piece of paper towards him. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it is a contract. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting official. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, so you deal with the guild contracts as well. Very well. Man's got to make a living. Drugs and signs off on it. Oh, and Sardon, a um, a small slit opens up in his mouth, and he spits out a business card uh, towards each of the people at the table. <laughs> Is it basically like those Uno shuff shuffle things? Yes. Imagine it's like a Pez dispenser. <laughs> Except it fires it across the table. Yeah. We thank right. you for doing business with uh, Tidnuk Buku Wabinsi. Winter, the Winter Druid looks at you. Your company sounds fun as hell. Whoa, it's it's, like that. it's been a blast. More than once, actually. Yeah. So he's gonna pick you up, a gun gear. Well, I'm being <laughs> touched. <laughs> and she's gonna hug you. Uh, so you, you in small, by the way, you feel cold as shit. Yeah, I'm made of clay. You look like liar. <laughs> and he kind of just looks up at her. <laughs> she gives you a giddy smile. Is, is he just covered in frost now? Yeah. Oh, oh, no. You have an icicle hanging out from your nostril. Well, it wouldn't <laughs> be the first time. Then she lets you go. <laughs> Gungir quickly scampers back up onto Sardon's shoulders and kind of 
kind of taps him on the head and Sardon gets up and does an awkward robot wave sort of like the Queen of England he just kind of raises up his hand beat, 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 and kind of awkwardly backs away from everyone over to uh-huh. Galahad <laughs> I feel so sorry for Cat whoops move on what's happening what's going on my icon there we go Cat, is there anything you want to say in this? No, well, not really. Not her, any of her business. I doubt she cares. <laughs> Flynn cares, at least. So, all of you okay with doing this mission? What's up, Don't get it twisted. It's your mission. I am pretty sure I know something about Leviathans. Your head on this one. Uh, so what should we do to prepare ourselves? You have 24 hours. You can choose to uh, go back to the ship and prep yourselves and grab I really reinforcements. Wish. wish. I really or wish I was a- just... Oh. Uh asked for the until he gets his forces ready I really want to do something but I know I can't do it at my level because this would have been I want to cast a spell uh, Hero's Banquet Hero's Banquet? (laughs) Yeah because that way we're prepared well, here's, here's where uh, one of the other druids is going to steal your thunder. I'm just going to cast that. It only lasts eight hours. You're wrecked. <laughs> That's fine. And it only feeds up to six people. How about Sardon doesn't need to eat? She can yeah, ask Sardon's Sir, right? a robot. <laughs> he takes the mashed potatoes, he presses them against his face. <laughs> <laughs> you hear vacuum sound. <laughs> no, I, no I, for some reason, I imagine it's a thing. No, from he's Tully a Roomba. Tubby. He's a giant Roomba. <laughs> I just imagine it's a thing from the Teletubbies. Oh, yeah, oh, no, uh, oh, uh, the, 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 the snuff it. Here the snuff it for you. Yes, all. the snuff it. Uh, anyways, uh, Summer Druid will cast Hero's Banquet so you have a fresh meal. Yep, uh, Hero's Banquet. Uh, I need to look Hero's up what it actually banquet. does. I just realized that Freddy does something it's novice. Should... Go on. It's called Hero's Feast. It's okay, I was wrong about that. Yeah, it's close off frick enough. Technicalities. You're out. Okay, here it is. Here's Hero's Feast. Here we go. I'm getting the battle map ready uh, at the moment, so take your time. Uh, the feast that? takes one hour. I to don't think we're going to get to the battle today, though. That's fine. Okay, here's what it does. I doubt it. Yeah, considering all the internet problems we've been having, probably best to save the battle. Bring forth a great feast, including magnificent food and drink. Takes one hour to consume and disappears. At the end of that time, uh, up to 12 creatures. Can pop. Uh, well, oh, benefit lasts for 24 hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's oh. why I was suggesting we do it. That's why I wanted to do it later, like tomorrow before the battle began. Sit. Uh, it's downtime. Time to celebrate. To my drink. Want to, uh, which would have worked well wait, with like Frederick's wait, wait, entire. Uh, I want to learn to cook. <laughs> which person passed it? Summer, summer girl. Summer did. Yeah. <laughs> so I imagine everything is just piping hot and like soul food right now. Is summer is summer hooves? Summer hooves or cross eye? Or uh, uh, summer hooves. 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 Yeah, because um, cross eyed girl was fall, 
and then the Tifling was winter. Can we trade out she's all? <laughs> I, I still all think that this, I still think that the fall should have been spring. <laughs> Damn discussion. <laughs> I could have flipped it, but I'm lazy. Yeah, I don't feel so, like editing uh, it. We are now uh, immune to to disease, poison, and fear, which is uh, helpful. And we make all wisdom saving throws at advantage, and our oh. hit point maximum is increased by two d10. Oh my! Do we? Uh, do you roll that, or does the caster roll I that? I will roll or? that. Yeah, the caster rolls right. it. No, we all get seven, seven HP. Seven. I'll just put that in temporary. Hey, that, lucky that, number seven. seven HP. If you, it's uh, a remember, really... As it's Mara, a real that stacks on top of your temp HP. Okay. It's a really dumb good spell. Uh, for future reference, uh, Azamar, all temp HP that you have, um, that you are given, it stacks on top of what you already have as a conqueror. However, it's only that, one temp HP effect at a time. And spreads are making me give up Frederick. It's not really not making you, but it's, it's a way out. I'm thinking of an option. It just seems like he's really trying to point me into putting Frederick in that spot. I mean, you have yeah. To, <laughs> you have the most characters out of everyone, so you're the, it's not a big hit. Yeah, I get rid of a few. <laughs> yeah, I like playing Frederick also. Rarely. Over I mean, <laughs> So should we end today or? Still, yeah, we should probably. Or do, do we, let's get into the Feywild. So, you guys have 24 hours of prep time. You're welcome to go back to the ship, and it will be a much quicker walk. Get back and forth cool. now that you know the straight path. Now that Frederick's not getting us lost. <laughs> I didn't get you lost. By the way, the whole Maybe travel time should just get in just leave blood for three hours. Bloop, 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 bloop. At least give us some time to make a war plan, see if there's anything we need to do. Gungir can't do any crafting in that time because it'll take too long. Um... But we can miss, at least make some plans and take some inventory. You're welcome to ask any of your other allies on the ship if they want to come, whether or not. Yeah, mm -hmm. why are you going to come? Oh, wait, no, the magic. Yeah. Yeah, all of them are it, magic. Keep it the gesture of life. I mean, no, wait. One. Weiss can actually join us because it's a fighter. Hunter. I just see who's also fighter. Yeah, half breed. Multi class. That's races, not classes. Anyways, Multi yeah, and technically you could bring fall because his all magic would not activate. <laughs> we have a rule in the game where it's we can only play one character at a time. Yeah. Yes, I know. Just keep it simple in the initiative orders. All right, if you're Gunger. comfortable with this crew, we'll lock it in as is. Gunger will at least... I have to win my items back. Gunger will at least, like, direct everyone to, like, the living room area so we can start making a plan of some sort. Ball runs out of his room chasing Minerva. I know you are cheating! She used Unseen Servant this entire time. <laughs> Let me see here. Give me back my platinum! You're betting with platinum? You have back your damn scrying or your damn messaging stone. 
is dead, and she chucks it at you and then runs away with the platinum. Guys, would you mind she, keeping it? I actually just loves shiny things. That's why she ran away with the uh Should I deduct thing. a platinum for my character? I mean you bet, so bet how much you would have bet. Will you two keep it down? We're trying to plan a war here. I bet half of my money. <laughs> You're not. Well, I lost half of his money. All right, so uh, divide that two ways. Half of it goes to Weiss. Half of it goes to Minerva. Oy. Yeah. So, so divide right. what you have in half, and then divide another half of that into uh, again. Oh, yeah, I can I'll put that in their character sheets. Okay. Respectively. Weiss right. first, because I found her sheet first. Gunger will actually like pull out a piece of paper he'll set it down on on the table in the middle of the living room so what exactly should our plan of attack be he, he mr druid man said that we were taking on the leviathan ourselves right mm-hmm. I, draw, I draw i draw a leviathan so you bet that much or is that that's all he betted that's half of his money completely I draw a Reaper Leviathan because I'm pretty sure Flynn knows what they look like. So, what's your I, I, I let Toe help me. Mr. Toe, you said you knew something about Leviathans. Yeah, well, you know, sailing ships, sort of a terror that you have and worry about and hope you never have to meet. Are there no, any big pincers on the front? <laughs> Did we finish drawing the drawing? Two more than that. <laughs> Would you say there's any easily, easily exploitable weaknesses on this creature? Mm, Not they necessary. Don't exist on land. Damn. That's a that's a good one. Way to narrow it down. <laughs> yes, yeah, so if you're on land, you're probably all right. You don't have to worry about Reaper the Leviathans. Uh, don't know why did I can't get in contact with the Reaper Leviathan. I don't know, you went through a funny door in a tree. GM? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, think back to... He has been sorted. Think back to the scene you saw. Was it... What was it swimming in? It was just swimming through the Fey Mist, more or less. Sort of like a... Uh, what would be the equivalent? Sort of like okay, the ether. Okay, so uh, imagine... Or just... Yeah, what would... I'm trying to think of a good comparison. Oh, it'd be like the uh, ground hogging, more or less. It's like in and out of the ground, just swimming around the area. It'd be like the uh, the sky sharks from uh, from the one Doctor Who Christmas episode. Oh, God. I don't know what you're referencing. So, oh God, dang. Do you mean it? Do, so, do you mean it was going through? He was in the Feywild. It was Fey just Wild. floating there... through the Feywild. Yeah, I was going to say, is there ground beneath? Uh, I mean, there's ground, but Feywild was... reality doesn't exist. God. So, it, uh, it was, was basically it was showed up. Basically, what I'm trying to ascertain is if it was burrowing. Uh, yes it was and weird. no. It's just weird air swimming. I think it was just like weird air swimming through... No clip. Through existence. No, it, it was a name in no clip. <laughs> no, I mean, see, tech- I imagine it's it was basically kind of <laughs> did burrow, but it only burrowed to get something. Yeah, I imagine when it touched, when it went into the ground, it turned to ground that it was going through into water, basically, more or less. <laughs> It was big. It was a big boy. So I just imagine, like, it goes into the ground and we see kind of, like, cartoon shark fin coming out of the ground. Eh, kind of. 
not really a shark, but it, you, you would see a giant red. You know what I mean, though. Or black spike when I have a ground. By the way, um. Oh, yeah. uh, so, so, comparison to how I would assume okay. Toe just informs what they normally look like. Uh, so question, should we ask possibly Weiss to join us? Um, the more the merrier against such a gigantic creature. Uh, I really wish Morgan was here. Patrick will go to one of the microphone things or the intercom things. I'm going to just got to be on the room. Hey, uh, Weiss? Yes? Yes? We're going to be fighting some sort of large creature and we need a n- someone who's not primarily a magic caster to join us. Think you can join us? Yeah, sure, sounds fun. Drag uh, her image onto the battle map. She's already there. Battle map. Oh. You know the stream can probably see what you're doing right now. I know, but I don't care. Toothpick. Trust me, they, they see a lot of my secrets that I've been keeping. Um, you just have to go back and watch the VODs. As you see the tension. Usually when I flip around things, it's pretty quick, but eh, this time not so much. Alright. So I feel like a good place to call it quits, everybody. Yeah, we'll yep. yeah. hold anything up okay. major off until we start getting some... We'll call it today. Okay. Night, y'all. Oh, See you, Kat. Kat, Kat. I was yeah. actually wanted to ask you something real quick. Uh, oh. Goodbye, I'll chat. Just... Goodbye, stream. Thank you for watching. I'll yeah. actually just DM you on through Discord. So. Okay, I'll Three, read it. Two, one. Meow. Yeah.